Okay, let's take a look at my new Taurus G3. Just got it. Been wanting this gun since uh, sometime last summer. Throw the receipt in there. Comes with stop. Activate your warranty. Okay. Instruction manual. Colored sort of like this PT709. Uh, cable lock. Cool. Got two. 15 round the car mags if that's funny that's got a little bit of a <laughs> gunpowder residue on it this one's clean I must have test fired it at the factory so there's the uh, pistoli itself let's see if there's anything under the flap okay I had to put the stuff down and nothing underneath the flap so that's cool. Let me get the uh, pistol out of wrap and we'll be right back. Yeah, I think you can see that there. Definitely some kind of cosmoline for shipping. I got the uh, flag indicator in there too, so. I don't believe it was uh, cosmoline. Might have been something like that, but it wiped right off with a little bit of gun oil. Took a little paper towel and just kind of wiped it off real quick, so. A decal off of there. It was cosmoline. It wasn't. Uh, dirty. They didn't uh, fire at the range, not that I can tell. It was just that little thin layer of uh, greasy brown, uh, in this case black cosmoline. It wasn't the brown heavy thick stuff like you see if you ever purchased an SKS years back. Uh, this was just a little lighter um, blackish greasy uh, cosmoline. So anyways, gave it a nice little cleaning, oiled up some parts and now we're going to put her back together. Hey, let's put some light on this video. I didn't realize maybe the video was too dark. Anyways, got it cleaned up. Got it put back together. If you know a Glock or any other thing. Uh, PT-709 Slim, the Millennials, uh, the G2Cs, it all takes down. So, anyways, there it is. My little uh, Taurus G3, two 15-round mags. I live in a uh, magazine-restricted state. Nice round. It's got the Pikini rail. So what I have to do down the road here, got to get a holster for starters. And then maybe later down the road we'll change these sights out, like I said. And uh, maybe add a light too. So anyways, not much more I can show you. It does have double cock, uh, double strike uh, features. Grip is nice. Texture's good. Front and rear cocking serration, so... Um, anyways, I highly recommend one. I haven't shot it yet, but I'll tell you, man, I watch hundreds of videos, and I don't think I've seen a bad video about this little pistol yet. Thanks for uh, opening it up and unboxing it with me. You know, one last thing. I got it in my hand. I got it in my weak hand. So let's just show you. It is a good size gun. It only weighs, what, 25 ounces by the specs? But you can feel the weight of the barrel out front. You can feel the weight. It's not like over the palm... It's not over the trigger. It feels like it's a little bit front heavy. Sort of like a 45 auto. A couple of 45 autos I shot. Has that nice, I don't know, kind of balanced feel to it. Thank you for viewing. Like and share. Subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification for future videos. Some days I put out several videos a day. Most times I keep one in reserve for tomorrow. So there's always at least one video from me. And please check us out on Patreon, BitChute, and Subscribestar. Support this channel by joining Gun Owners of America. We're all in this fight together. Remember, you are your first and last line of defense. And keep that powder dry.